So, Stalker Gamma, one year anniversary patch. I can't believe it's been one year. One whole year ago, I didn't even know about Anomaly, let alone Gamma. So today we're going to go over the patch notes because there has been quite a decent patch. And at the end of the video, there will also be a section on how to install the patch. If you want to skip to that, I'll put a timestamp in. Uh, but otherwise, stick around for the patch notes. So here we go. These are in the words of the almighty Grok, the creator of Gamma. These are his words. Gamma has been a hell of a ride for one year. Many improvements have been made to gameplay, progression, stability, quality of life and graphics over the last 12 months. Even though massive efforts have been made by the community to improve the game, there's still so much to do to have the perfect survival experience in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. And today's patch proves it. Here are the patch notes. Right, first up, there's lightweight updates. Updates have moved from 500 megabyte downloads to 70 megabyte downloads, paving the way for 1.0. This should make it much easier for everybody. Reworked AI. Larkin has been busy pulling his hair out for this one, producing a huge step forward to improve AI based on Moira's more covered AI with tons of improvements. This is the first iteration of the reworked AI. AI should now react more to your shots, tend to flank you more, they also use many more points of cover and work cooperatively to do so. This makes the AI harder to fight, mainly because you can't passively headshot them easily in the open. Rebalanced ammo. I've compared all ammo real performances based on muzzle velocity and energy to balance the stats and ammo of the rifles. Many changes have been made, substantially changing the balance of the game without destroying the previous balance. Most notably, ammo display their real nominal damages in their description alongside their penetration power. Penetration. 7.62 times 25 isn't a meme anymore and is actually useful by having AP and HP round with a focus on penetration which is what the round is good for. 7.92 Mauser round got a boost in damage and the price. 9 times 21 is now the cheapest SMG AP round and is the highest SMG AP damage. 5.7 now has the highest SMG AP rating but has reduced damages. 7.62 times 54R got a damage nerf and a price reduction. Now there's a spreadsheet for more details, I'll add that below as a link. But um, yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord yet for Gamma, just go and join it, stop mucking around. Right, so here's one for the chads. Reworked melee and axes. Axes remodel and reanimation thanks to Barry Boggs. Good on you, Barry. Axes are now even better, but much harder to acquire and are now a real build choice. Axes have much more reach, are slower to use and deal more damage and more armor penetration. On the other hand, they only fit in main weapon slots now and need to be two-handed. They also need to be bought now and they weigh between 4 and 8 kilos. With knives now getting a nerf, the range has been decreased. Now we have guns. Recoil stat changed to recoil control stat. The higher, the lesser recoil. The Raptor shotgun has been added. Finally, you can enjoy this mofo. The Chris Vector has been added officially. And the MP7 and P90 now have laser and support many different sights. Big thanks to T-Dog for adding many texture fixes. The K98 replacer add-on thanks to JD Moyenson. Hope I said that right. The removal of the K98 upgrade kit because of how many good modded K98 there is right now. A modded K98 can now be found more easily on NPCs. Bolt action rifles are more common. Fucking excellent. I love my fucking bolt action rifles. Tommy gun and two variants added thanks to Fire Breath. Reduced SR25 recoil, it's now the best 7.62x51 rifle in the game. SKS recoil increased. Now all guns of one calibre deal the same damage, minus rare exceptions, especially for subsonic guns. Increased FAL, AUS and SA58 recoil. And that's it for the guns, some really good updates there, I'm fucking wrapped with this. Right now we have audio. Dark signal guns, mutants and footsteps audio thanks to Shrike. Phenomenal work. New controller audio thanks to Desmond. Cheers Desmond. Quality of life updates. Crafting items actually display in their tooltips in which crafting recipes they are used. Thanks to Utjin. Reduced Rostock population to improve performance. Bloody good. Well needed. And real artifacts mention that they don't degrade over time. And lastly we've got balance. Hand grenades are rarer and can only be bought one by one. Tube grenades are more common. Increased timing between ZCP spawns by 1.5. And there's a change to the starting loadouts. We might have to have a look at that. Right, so that's the end of the patch notes. And here is how to install the patch. Navigate to your Gamma folder. Click on that. Go into Grok's Mod Pack Installer. 
then click on Gamma Installer. Let it load up. Click on Download Gamma Data. Let it do its thing. Really important to wait each step until it's complete. This will take quite a while. When it's nearly complete, it should look exactly like this with the bar almost fully over to the Donate button. Note that it says Installer can hang but continues working. Just leave it alone, don't press anything. And then you should have this, it says installation complete. You can now launch the MO2 instance of the mod pack from the desktop. So now you can close this window and open the MO2 installer either from the file or from the Gamma desktop icon. And there you go, you should have, if you've done it correctly, 346 active mods. And all there is to do now, start up Anomaly and make sure that it all works correctly. Before you do, actually make sure that it's set to run as administrator, otherwise you'll have issues. Click run and enjoy. If you've done everything correctly, you're now ready to run Gamma one year anniversary updated patch version. Awesome. Get ready for 1.0 coming soon. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And you're here now, so you might as well click on this link and watch this video. And with that being said, I'll see you down the road.